Rose, an example of the strong style of Japan. Oh! World Wrestling Entertainment, more commonly known as WWE, is wildly popular all over the globe. WWE has no doubt become one of the most popular sporting events, in turn becoming extremely lucrative for those participating. Typically, to land a juicy multi-million dollar deal in WWE, you need to have worked hard for years in advance, building your skills and popularity both inside and outside the ring. Many of the wrestlers mentioned in today's video have done precisely that and have worked extremely hard to be where they are today. In today's video, we will cover some of the highest paid wrestlers in the WWE as of 2020. Braun Strowman Adam Schur, commonly known as Braun Strowman, recently signed a very lucrative contract with the WWE. This contract is being worth $1.9 million, with $1.2 million guaranteed every year. Strowman is a 37-year-old American wrestler who has been a part of the WWE for quite some time now, as are most of the wrestlers mentioned in today's video. He had a relatively strong year. In fact, he won the Intercontinental title against his opponent Shinsuke Nakamura, along with the Universal title against Goldberg. One of Strowman Strowman's more memorable moments of 2020 was when he lifted Alexa Bliss up in the air and called out fellow WWE wrestler The Fiend. Although Strowman is getting a very good payout from the WWE franchise, he recently tweeted out that he wasn't receiving any payments as he hasn't been working due to the global health situation. This is entirely possible as he has probably already received the $1.2 million guarantee that is a part of his contract. This probably wasn't the most sensitive or just thing to tweet out during a time when many are out of money and homeless. However, it gives insight to just how much these WWE superstars are banking each year. Stephanie McMahon Next up on the WWE list is Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie is tightly woven into the WWE business as her dad is Vince McMahon, CEO, founder, and chairman of the entire WWE franchise. Shane McMahon, another fellow WWE wrestler, is her older brother, and Stephanie is the wife of Paul Michael Levesque, popularly known as Triple H, fellow pro wrestler turned businessman. Now, Stephanie McMahon acts as primarily the chief brand officer for WWE, but will also appear from time to time on screen as an occasional wrestler on Raw and SmackDown brands. She is a fourth generation wrestling promoter, working for WWE since she was a young girl modeling t-shirts and other merchandise. It's no surprise that Stephanie is now earning a cool $2 million a year working at WWE. She had a wealthy upbringing and was always set to be a part of the company with her dad and brother. Although she has very wealthy family members and connections, she has worked hard for where she is today and takes her position very seriously, often working overtime to ensure WWE as a whole is performing at its best. Shane McMahon well, as we mentioned earlier, Shane McMahon, Stephanie's brother and Vince McMahon, CEO of WWE's son, also has a huge contract with the league, which is worth more than $2 million, 2.1 mil to be exact. Shane has been competing in the WWE ring off and on for the past two decades. Shane used to do a lot behind the scenes like his sister Stephanie, however in recent years he retired from that area of WWE. In 2019, he only wrestled in 19 matches, often appearing more as a non-wrestling character. However, Shane had one of the best moments of his career during 2020 when he performed with his tag team partner The Miz in the WWE SmackDown Tag Team titles, snatching the title along with his teammates. Although it is assumed the wrestler makes around $2.1 million annually, we can't be certain as it's not disclosed due to him being a family member of the WWE franchise. Bill Goldberg Goldberg has been an icon in the WWE world. He hasn't been very active recently, no matches in 2018, and only two matches in 2019 and 2020, including one match against The Undertaker in Saudi Arabia. In 2020, out of the two matches, he lost one to Braun Strowman and won the other against The Fiend, earning the WWE Universal title. Goldberg has been in the game a long time and was a very active, legendary wrestler for decades upon decades. Today, Goldberg is 53 years old, so therefore he cannot be present in the ring constantly. But we can tell you one thing, this legend definitely deserves his current contract because of everything he has done for WWE and WCW, World Championship Wrestling, during his prime. If you've come to be curious about how much Goldberg is making annually, you've come to the right place. The wrestler is reportedly taking home a cool $3 million per year. 
Becky Lynch. Rebecca Quinn, more popularly known by her stage name, Becky Lynch, is a female American pro wrestler. In 2020, Lynch participated in a total of 17 matches and impressively won them all, proving that she is one of the greatest female wrestlers in WWE history. Lynch hasn't been in the ring since March as she was pregnant at the time. However, this had no impact on her contract. Lynch, or the man, as she is known on stage, earns a nice, comfortable $3.1 million per year. Paul Michael Levesque. Paul Levesque, popularly known as Triple H, is a pro wrestler who has been part of the community at WWE for over 25 years. Not only is he a wrestler, he's also a WWE executive. Similarly to his wife Stephanie McMahon, he has become a big part of the WWE family and has definitely made a massive impact over the decades he has been a part of the franchise. Triple H is now 51 years old, which has hindered the amount of time he spends within the ring, but nevertheless, he is an iconic wrestler that has stayed consistent and loyal to the company which explains his high salary. Triple H makes around $3.3 million annually. Seth Rollins Colby Lopez, who is known by his WWE stage name Seth Rollins, is a very talented and skilled pro wrestler who has been a part of the WWE community for decades. The Monday Night Messiah has been a part of WWE since 2010, and from that point on, he has worked extremely hard to get to where he is today and for the paycheck he receives today. Although he didn't win many matches in 2020, the spotlight has not seemed to dim at all on Rollins. In 2019, he served as a key Raw brand headliner and was the face of WWE's flagship, holding the Universal Championship for about half the year. Rollins is one of the top merchandise sellers in the entire company, which is massive for the wrestler and his loyalty to WWE never seems to waver no matter what kind of lucrative offer he receives. Rollins has been amongst some of the most incredible matches and truly epic rivalries. He is both equally hated and loved by WWE fans across the globe, but his skill Skills and ability cannot be disputed. He is insanely talented and definitely deserves the $4 million annual paycheck he currently gets. Randy Orton Randy Orton, popularly known as the Legend Killer, is often referred to as the villain who most people hate in the WWE. Orton is already 40 years old, which means his wrestling career is not as rigorous as it once was a decade or two ago, but that hasn't changed how much the Legend Killer is earning annually. It's said that Randy Orton banks around $4.1 million every year. Even though Orton didn't compete in many matches, matches at all in 2020, he's still a legendary wrestler and when he's in the ring, you know he will give the fans a good show and all eyes are immediately on him. Roman Reigns Liati Joseph Anoa'i, otherwise known as Roman Reigns, is the handpicked star of this WWE generation. Reigns is an insanely talented professional wrestler that has been with the WWE for a long period of time. Reigns is often referred to as the big dog and is truly a superstar with many millions adoring and idolizing him all over the globe. He was out of the game for a while as he was battling a relapse in leukemia, but made an emotional return to participate in WrestleMania. Even though Reigns was out of the ring for almost the first quarter of the season and then working part-time in ring, he still kept the cash flowing in. Reigns brings in around $5 million annually, and with the traction and popularity of his wrestling career, we can only see this number increasing in the years to come. Brock Lesnar Last but certainly not least is the former NCAA and UFC heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar. Lesnar may seem like the obvious option for the number one spot on this list, but that's for good reason. He is a fantastic box office draw and is often used as a special attraction within the WWE world. Unlike his fellow wrestlers, Lesnar has been reportedly paid on a flat rate for appearance since he first returned back to the wrestling scene eight years ago, and his appearances have only become more frequent over the years. Lesnar is quite different from the rest of his fellow WWE superstars. He isn't in the social media and was born and raised in a small farm area in South Dakota. Not much is changed, he still has that small town personality and hasn't let fame and money change him significantly. Currently, Lesnar is making 10 million US dollars annually. But with the new contract he signed with AEW, All Elite Wrestling, this number will definitely rise. And there you have it, the 10 highest paid WWE wrestlers of 2020. Now you are probably wondering why some of the massive names we all know and love weren't mentioned on this list, and that's because we were only mentioning the highest paid wrestlers according to 2020, not of all time. Some of the greatest names in WWE wrestling have either retired or slowed down the amount of time they spend in the ring. We'll save that video for another day. If you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss any of our new content.